Thumbs up for Sarah Solo. Thank you for supporting and sharing the work of such a diverse group of artists. We are so lucky you're there and we need you more than ever. Hi there, my name is Marcus Cruz and I got the incredible opportunity to be able to watch this year's Sarah Solo Festival. Um, I was able to see Teresa's and Mr. John and they were just so phantasmorifically incredible. It was so such an eye-opening experience and in such times that we are right now, being able to reflect and think back about that just inspires me and I would definitely recommend everyone to take that incredible opportunity to celebrate solo plays. I love going to live theater and especially this festival because you are in this intimate environment. You get to witness solo pieces that were original and you get to talk to the performer actor and find out a little bit more about the history of the piece and it's the I think most amazing way to really get involved with solo theater. I love it and I think you would too. The Sarah Solo Festival is one of the most exciting things in the annual arts calendar in Sarasota. It is run by Annie Morrison and Blake Walton, two of the very most talented, kind, and nurturing people you could ever want to meet. Solo performance is a particular art that they are so adept, not only in performing, but in educating about, in nurturing, and in showcasing for our enjoyment. We have solo performers from all over the world offered to us within this festival. Sarah Solo is a gem of a theater experience lovingly crafted by Ann Morrison and Blake Walton over these past years. Their solo synergy is a wonderful, full of heart community outreach education program that they have now introduced. And I am looking forward to getting back to that community to be a part of it and volunteering and help them grow this program. Hello friends, Sorka Augustine here, and I just wanted to tell you about a beautiful, independent company around solo artists called Sarah Solo. Sarah Solo is, I would say, a great, intimate, authentic experience to have with its performers because a lot of the performances come from the most internal parts of the performer in that they come from life experience and I think it's really cool to get that side of performers when they step outside of a character and really explore like what's already within them and the stories that need to be told within them. It's a great way to be up and close like up close and personal with the stage. It's a great avenue to do something that is more of like not in a bad way but low commitment theater in that you don't have to follow this big, long, epic story. The, the story is more within the human connection and more within the human experience of yourself. Um, we almost explore ourselves as we're exploring the personal stories of the actors. And because the stories are so authentic to who they are, and they're like little gems that come out from inside of them. It's a different experience than a theater production that is set far away from you in a distant time with characters you don't know that you're learning about. I think Sarah Solo gives you a chance to explore your inner world as the performer is exploring their inner world. 
I think there's something to be said about being so up close. And that is, when I saw Sarah Solo, I, we were in the, the Black Box Theater at New College. And I think it's a great, perfect little venue. Um, because you almost go back to that idea of storytelling around a fire. Um, there's this uh, kind of ancient calling to us to be together in a small group listening to a story. And we get little snippets of that in our family around the holidays, um, maybe in our, you know, memories of being a teenager at a sleepover. There's, there's a cool intimacy that happens when the audience is kind of sitting around almost in a circle around the stage. It's a really beautiful experience to be renewed um, within yourself to have that that comfort in a way and to be sitting around the glow and the the fire of the stage with the performer being the storyteller that's really fun